Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Ashley and this is Martin Midlife Misadventures and today is Flower It Up Day and have I got a day. I have so much baking to do today everybody and you know what? Everything that I'm baking today I've already made for you so you can find those videos in the Flower It Up playlist but we're going to do some strawberry cupcakes inside some ice cream cones. I'm going to bake off two loaves of French bread and I'm going to make two pizza crusts. I'm baking for us as well as our neighbor today. Are you ready to get started? Let's do it. All right, friends, I have a ton of baking to do, as I told you. So the first thing I'm going to do is take care of these cupcakes. I've baked them before for you. I'll leave the link up here because when we baked them before, it's been a couple years, we baked them with one can of soda and we baked them in the camp oven and they came out perfect. So you can check out that video. But for today, we're just going to use this cake mix. You can use any flavor you like, just follow the directions on the back of the package, okay? You're also going to need some cake cups, not the pointy kind. You need the kind with the flat bottom. And we are going to use a muffin tin to um, bake them in. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up this cake mix. All right, friends, the recipe called for three eggs, one cup of water, and a third a cup of vegetable oil. Now I never use an electric mixer when I'm making a box cake because they simply just mix up really well with just a, uh, one of these whisks. All right, that looks good enough. So what I do, I've already put my cupcake containers. I was a little disappointed because look, a lot of them are broken and there's only 12 that comes in the package so we are definitely going to use them all no matter what so all I do is get a little measuring cup start filling them up a little more than halfway not quite three quarters because these really do puff up and you don't want the batter going over the edges so, just a little more, just a little more than halfway. All right, let me open my <laughs> oven and let's get these because we want to be very careful when we transfer them. Okay, just pick them up gently so they don't tip. And let's get them in here. We will start checking these, like I said, about the 12 minute mark. All right, friends, now I'm going to make a double batch of pizza dough, one for us and one for our neighbors, inside my bowl. And again, I've already done this. I'll leave the link up here and in the description for you for the video on how to do pizza. But we're making this dough, and we're going to save it in the refrigerator because it will keep in your refrigerator for several days if you put it in plastic. Inside there we had four cups of flour, one and a third cups of warm water that I added four tablespoons of sugar and two heaping teaspoons of yeast to. Now we're going to mix all this up until we get a nice shaggy dough. You've seen me do this before. Oop. Now since we're making pizza, pizza crust, we are going to add four tablespoons of olive oil to this. All right, I've already added three tablespoons, and this is the fourth tablespoon. Sorry about the saw in the background. Amy's out there cutting wood. We actually have some sunshine today, so she's taking advantage of that. So anyway, once we have our oil in there, now's the fun part. Now is when we mix it by hand. We are just going to knead this until it all comes together. Let me lean over and check on our cupcakes. They're looking good. I see a couple that have spilled over. But that's no problem. All right, I've got my pizza dough mixed, and I need to get it transferred to another bowl because I have some more dough to make. So now that I have my pizza dough in here, 
I, I did need it for two minutes. Two minutes is all you need on this pizza dough. It rises so beautifully. And this is enough for two pizzas. Just oil it nicely, put a lid on it, stick it in a warm place for about an hour or so, and then your pizza dough will be ready. All right, friends, our first batch are done. Ooh, I can already see they are gonna look so good when they're frosted, and let me tell you why. Look at here. Remember that the cones had cracks? Well, it allowed some of it to come out and drip down the side. So when we frost them, we're gonna go with that and we're gonna put frosting on it and it's gonna look like ice cream dripping down the side of the container. I'm gonna get another batch in the oven and start some French bread. Now I'm onto my French bread. I have uh, four cups of flour and a teaspoon of salt in here. I'm adding one and a third cups of warm water about three and a half tea tablespoons of sugar and two heaping teaspoons of yeast. Let's mix this, mix this up until we get a shaggy dough. Again, I've made this French bread. You cannot fail with this one. And I'm telling you guys, it is so good. It's like those little, little short, little fat loaves of French bread you can get in the bakery section at the grocery store. This one you can make with butter or margarine. I recommend margarine, but I'm actually going to use butter today because I've already got some softened. So we're gonna need about four tablespoons of butter or margarine. That's about right. Now we're gonna get in there and get it all kneaded in there really good. It's all mixed, looking great. I'm gonna cover this up for about an hour before I bake off these loaves. I'll show you that when I get there. All right, friends, for my frosting, honestly, it's something I don't normally even measure, okay? But I have about, uh, I don't know, I'd say about three to three to maybe about three, three and a half tablespoons of some butter there. I'm gonna use some shortening, about the same amount as that I just used, probably three tablespoons. Need about a teaspoon of vanilla or so. We always pour it in the cap. It's funny, I watch all the bakers do the, the exact same way. All right. I also add a little pinch of sea salt to mine because it really just makes the frosting fantastic. Just a pinch is all you need. Now we need some powdered sugar, which I have here in a jar, and I need some milk. All right then, we have all our stuff in here. I'm gonna use my mixer for this. I think when you're making frosting, you really need to try to Really smooth and well incorporated. All right, once you get it mixed up like this, you start adding your powdered sugar, just a little at a time. I'll also add a little drop of my half and half in here. Like I said, you can use regular milk, it doesn't matter. Probably about a tablespoon is what I'm putting. And we'll start mixing. Add a little more powdered sugar. Probably gonna use about a total of three to four cups. And a little bit more milk. And that's how I make frosting. Super easy, super delicious. And you're just gonna make this and get it to the consistency you want. Look at it flying everywhere. Should have used a deeper bowl. Get it to the consistency you like. We want to be able to pipe this. All right, let's fill this piping bag. Best way to do that is to get a tall cup. Once you have it all put together, stick it down in your cup and do like that. Then you can scrape it out of the container and get it down into your piping bag. I really try to take my time with the piping bag so I can keep it clean. 
Let's see. I have a little too much there. Okay, we've got our piping bag. <laughs> see? I specifically picked this one for Amy because look. See how it came out the side? She loves that. And see the sun, guys? Amy's got her saw set up here. I'm wearing... I got my slippers on, see? So, I need to find a way to jump around here. Hey, hey! 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 Come here! Come here, quick! Come here? Yeah! I have something for you! What it is? Your favorite thing. Oh my gosh, it's ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, yeah. Please bless the hands that prepared this. <laughs> mm. You have a little mustache now. <laughs> mm. Mm. Is it so good? That was the best breakfast. <laughs> breakfast? Yeah, I guess it is your breakfast, huh? You mm. Mmm, thank you so much. Yours. These are my favorite. Yours. You guys gotta try Show them these. inside. Show them inside. You gotta do these if you've never done them. Gotta do them. Oh, they're so good. My bread dough has doubled in size. It looks fantastic. Coming out of the bowl perfectly. I'm gonna put this on my board and divide it into two pieces so I can make two loaves. I'm taking my knife and making a slit down the center of both of my loaves of bread. And we are going to let this rest for another 30 minutes and then bake it off. Look at how much that pizza dough rose. Now what I'm going to do with the pizza dough, same thing. I'm going to ball it up. I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to put each half into a plastic baggie. Let me show you. And there are my pizza doughs. I just put them in quart size baggies. This can go right into the refrigerator and it can sit for several days. You just pull it out probably 20 minutes before you're ready to use it. And let me tell you, it's good to go. So we have one for us and one for our friends. I just popped my French breads in. Looking good. Oh, would you look at this? My French bread is done. Looks wonderful. This one's a little wonky. I think we're going to keep this one and we'll give this one to our friends. And what I do is I kept all this butter in the bottom of my dish here. And we're just going to brush it all over these loaves. That is how you keep your bread soft, okay? As soon as the second it comes out of the oven, you brush it with butter and then you will not have a hard loaf at all. That's beautiful. I'm gonna let it cool for a minute, put it in a paper bag, and we're gonna deliver it. All right, friends, how about all that baking? I feel very accomplished. Everything's done with the exception of making the actual pizza later tonight. But other than that, we are ready to go. I hope you enjoyed seeing my crazy day of baking, and I hope you all are trying to do as much homemade baking as you can. Save your money because, man, bread? Over $3 for the generic bread. I, I just can't. I cannot pay that price for bread. And I hope you all are getting to that point too because it's so much better when you make it yourself keep flowering it up everybody we love you so much and we're going to be talking to you really soon god bless you